Hi, my name is Carlos, and today we're here in the lab. Um, we've got a TerraBox set up here with four of our brand new XUP VVP boards and liquid cooling. Um, the XUP VVP is a new design for us um, where it's got a large Xilinx uh, VU13 PFPGA on it. We had to design our board a little different knowing that this FPGA could consume a lot of power. Um, so we did a whole new redesign of our board with six supplies that can provide up to 300 amps of core power to the FPGA. On top of that, we you know, obviously had to find a way to keep this board cool. Um, so we introduced our um, own custom liquid cooling to this uh, board. It has a uh, cold plate on the FPGA to keep the FPGA cool. And it also has a custom cold plate on the six supplies to keep them cool as well. To get into a little more details on it, um, I've got what we call our BW monitor for our boards, and this is um, a BMC interface that we have on all our Bitware products. It'll show you power, temperature, voltage, um, and other details in the, in the board. You can see here that um, the board total is running at 335 watts. Of that, the FPGA power is 263-265 watts. So it's, it's, um, it's consuming 298 amps at 0.85 volts. From that, you can see that the FPGA is only at 54 degrees, 55 degrees C, um, which is very good. And the power supplies themselves, um, the, the XUP VVP has six um, different power supplies. All six power supplies, the temperature is uh, monitored here. And you can see of all of them, uh, the highest one is at 80 degrees. So one of the many unique features of our BMC is that you can change the voltage on the fly for the FPGA core voltage with our FPGA override here. And it's as easy as uh, modifying the core voltage here, select override, and you can change it here to whatever you like. Once you change your voltage, then it'll automatically be modified or updated here in the uh, BW monitor. So to get into a little bit more details on the TerraBox, obviously this is a um, lab test setup. We're just really testing to make sure everything is working properly. Our TerraBox complete solution would obviously be a lot cleaner. All the tubing would be internal to the system. Uh, so you could get all eight, in this case for this server, would be eight liquid cooled boards in here and have uh, just a single inlet outlet for the liquid. In other TerraBox setups that we have, we've got one that can hold 10 boards. Um, so we have a wide range of TerraBoxes just to fulfill your needs. So with that said, um, to get a little bit into more of the uh, XUP VVP boards, they have built into them, as I noted earlier, a BMC, so the uh, board management. In there, you can measure how much power is coming in on these um, two supplies. Um, again, you can measure the temperature on the power supplies as well as the FPGA. Um, they, as you can see here, don't require a ton of uh, airflow uh, because of the liquid cooling. Um, right now, there's, I mean, the fans in this system are set to the minimal um, fan speed. Plus, I don't even have a cover on there, so it's not pushing all the air over it, but the boards are behaving um, very, very well. Um, on the boards, we have, it's hard to see here, but we've got the one USB interface. That USB interface is what allows you to talk to the BMC, and it actually also allows you to use um, the USB over JTAG so that you can program the FPGAs through that same interface. So you have one USB interface to the whole board. About a year ago, our customers were probably using half the power that these boards uh, consume. We didn't have to look at liquid cooling as a solution. The airflow or passive cooling was good enough. So it's very exciting that we were able to quickly design a board that not only can supply you know, twice as much power as what our boards last year were doing, but we can keep them cooler um, than uh, what we previously had with the passive airflow. I mean, this is, to keep an FPGA at 55C when it's running 300 amps, I mean, that's pretty impressive. If you're looking for any more information on the TerraBox, our XUP VVP, um, or even we have a crypto version of our XUP VVP, it's the CVP13. All that information can be found on our website at bitware.com.